let me let me let me start by saying this there's no such thing as steady state capitalism that's the first thing to say and i'm going to explain why and in saying it i'm also going to pick up something that naomi said she said uh, very clearly that we do not have a common cause and she was talking about not having a common cause with the one percent we do not have a common cause with the one percent because they are committed to a system that is destroying the planet because there is no such thing as steady state uh, capitalism and I want to explain why uh, I think that is and in fact I want to make three points about the crisis the first is this it's all joined up Naomi was talking about this others are talking about John was talking about it just now it's all joined up there is a carbon machine a fossil fuel economy that is pumping pollution into the atmosphere and warming up the planet there is a war machine of arms manufacturers and militarized states and empires in confrontation with each other and an international order that's being torn apart by that there's a profit machine that is driving down wages here and is opening sweatshops in other parts of the world that is privatizing our public services that is taking our, our, over our social housing that is taking over our, our healthcare system there's a profit machine that is doing uh, all of that and it's all wired to the same motor to the same engine the carbon machine and the war machine and the profit machine is all wired to the same engine that's the first thing it's all joined up and here's the second thing the reason why you can't have steady state capitalism is this no capitalist no bank no corporation no giant privatized conglomerate buying up our public services invests in anything buys anything unless they expect to make a profit they always expect to get more out than they put in that means hardwired into the way capitalism works is unplanned uncontrolled unending growth to stop growth to rework the global economy to make it sustainable means getting rid of capitalism because capitalism is a growth based system it is a system of expansion and here's the third point I want to make about the uh, crisis what drives that growth is the competition between different corporations different banks different groups of people trying to make a profit different militarized states different imperial systems all competing all competing for raw materials all competing for contracts all competing for investment um, opportunities all competing with each other and when they don't get their way through economic competition then resorting to the gun which is why the international order is being torn apart it's a system a single unified system that works in this way giving rise to a single unified crisis and what that means for us is this if we carry on fighting one single issue campaign at a time one little protest at a time we will go down to defeat again and again and again because there are massive concentrations of economic and political power which we have to confront and this is the challenge for everybody here today we have to build a mass global joined up democratic bottom-up mass movement to confront that system and it's just possible it's just possible that everybody in this room today is going to be present at the beginning of that process of creating that kind of movement a movement for total system change a movement for revolutionary change a movement to overthrow the one percent and the banks and the corporations and to put power in the hands of the people because that's the historic task facing humanity in the next generation thank you